Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Arts family. So, guys, we have some more spirit photos, and we have some photos of chemtrails, things going on with the sun, and, you know, other unusual things. So, this is from Allison, who uh, has sent in some before. So, what she does is she has a silver bowl, or basically like a stainless steel bowl, and she fills it with water, and she has crystals in it quartz crystal selenite and I believe it's rose quartz and she swirls the water and basically sees what it, it's almost like well it's 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 a way of contacting what's what's there on the other side be, behind the veil and as we know the veil is lifting and that was the title of her last email the veil is thinning and so what do you guys see in this can you see how this looks like a figure rising up out of the bowl and you see the head right here you could play with um, some filters and see if you guys could see it any clearer but it's pretty wild Can it, I, it seems really clear to me there's a hand another hand it's like they're kneeling there and you can see the head almost looks like an alien type of head or reminds me of some of the uh, the headshots of the pharaohs in Egypt even they're interesting let's see if we play with the color a little you could definitely see it pretty wild um, and she gets some amazing ones with these techniques can you see this? this looks pretty uh, clear again another face eyes, nose, mouth, looking on out. And I know these, these photos scare some people and other people think they're cool. As always, up to each his own and it's up to everybody to do their own discernment. And I can see a face in that as well. It almost looks like two, like one facing head on here and one looking off to the side there. pretty wild and I've had several of you guys trying this as well and getting results and you can see another face clearly right here and this looks interesting as well it's like a figure eight first I thought it looked like handcuffs um, interesting and here looks like eyes almost also looks like a finger here pretty interesting stuff and that definitely looks like a hand to me I'm not sure if you guys see anything else some of you guys are amazing with what you can see in things and you see more than I do often I see some sort of little being here. Kind of impish. It's a lot of different stuff in this one. And you can also look at it and see a face here clearly with like long white hair. Almost like wings or something coming out. So this could almost look angelic in this sense and then and where I see the face here it almost could be like hands as well yeah or two beings can you see that? yeah that's easier to see interesting little face right here not sure how I would describe it and then over here this almost looks feminine like a, a woman's face with a lot of hair and almost like this could possibly be wings that are in so that's a pretty interesting one and there's a face right there kind of reminds me of uh, 
Well, it's got a little bit of an alienish tinge to it, or maybe what I would imagine Ebenezer Scrooge to look like, or Aleister Crowley a bit right there. That's a pretty clear face. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Nose, eyes, mouth, very clear. This looks sort of like some sort of animal. You see the eyes there, mouth. Seems like with most of these, if we just take a little bit, make it a little darker, you could see it better. So two figures, the nearest one holding a weapon is what she entitled it. Oh, there, yes, there's like the hand holding something like a blade. Interesting. And jumping into some photos, what do you see here? How many suns do you see here, we should say? So, our subscriber saw three distinct ones is what they thought. I can see one here obviously seems like there should be one here and it does almost seem like there could be another one over here so what are we really seeing with this one guys do you see three do you think there's three there or you think it's just the one could that be the moon it's way too big for venus or any sort of star or planet definitely interesting good shot there and so what I'm getting from a lot of you guys is you're, you're getting uh, definite movement in the field as far as the North Pole moving. The other thing that's really interesting is so many people are finding that wherever they are, if they have an altimeter, it's changing, and, and sometimes very dramatically. Um, you know, pretty big changes that you wouldn't think would necessarily be the case. Uh, like, you know, being in... Um, you know, altitude like we are here of around 3,000 feet and maybe varying as much as 100, 150 feet. And then being down, say, in Florida, where people are like 40, 50, 60 feet over uh, sea level and having to vary by as much as 10 or 15 feet, maybe even 20 feet at times. So kind of unusual, I would think. And I'm not sure what that's indicating. Almost like is the planet breathing? And uh, just some dramatic clouds here. I, I don't see anything else here, but it is, it's a beautiful picture. And this is from uh, northern Vermont. Some beautiful snowfall. And uh, can anyone say chemtrails? And it, it, I was dying yesterday, yesterday um, no, the day before yesterday. It was really cold really cold out and I know you know temperature varies according to what part of the atmosphere we're in you know and so you you could have times when it's warmer up higher and all but there were jets going by and these were you know regular jets and you know they go by contrails just dissipate and go away and then later on in the day where you're gonna have spraying come you typically they like to spray like right before sunset and there you go you know, and they're just crisscrossing. And so what was really interesting, too, is it's when the cold spell, like, left. So it was, at least ground-wise, it was way colder in the beginning of the day than at the end. And so yeah, I don't buy it. You know, I think so many people say, oh, well, it's just more, you know, it's, it's just a part of the grand solar minimum that we're going to have more, uh, well, we're going to have more cloud nucleation and, and the like, but... When you look at it, there's clearly contrails, and then there's clearly chemtrails. There's just no doubt about it, so don't try to cover it up. Just admit it, and X marks the spot in many locations. You know, I mean, let's, let's just put that to bed. You know, look at these photos. Obvious. Obvious chemtrails. And this is a cool effect. You know, look at that. 
It's like two sun dogs, almost like an arc behind the sun. Very cool and uh, just curious. So we see, you know, it just always reminds me of the Anunnaki symbol, the winged disc. Maybe it's something to do with our times and the uh, you know atmospheric conditions because you do get this now, which we didn't get this before. So you know when we think of the winged disc as Nibiru coming in and the Anunnaki riding on Nibiru, maybe that's not necessarily what they're saying. Maybe they're saying the gods return, you know, when these conditions are in effect, when you see the sun look like this, that signals the return of the gods, or maybe an end of an age, whatever you want, you know, however you want to look at it. And uh, as always, I recommend for you guys to share your comments and let us know what you're thinking. So this is from Trevor Young, our own Trevor Young, to EEA. We are to spread love, light, and healing into the earth and to the people so that the earth and humanity heals all on all levels. Namaste and so well said, Brother Trevor. And so this is another one of those spirit ones. And I could kind of see a face in there. Yeah, definitely looks like a face there somewhat. And here is an alien face, if you guys could see that one. Right there. So my friends, as always, uh, please do thumbs up to support the channel and I'm going to leave you with this last one as there's something that just kind of flies in and flies by. So what is that? And, and you know what? Somebody might say, oh, it's a paper or what have you flying by. But you know what? I saw something like this in person once, but it was much brighter than this. And uh, it glowed like the moon. It was kind of like a pearlescent to it. And it reminded me of a torso. And so it was curious. So as always, my friends, thumbs up to support the channel. Please do subscribe and join our growing family and share with as many as possible so that we can wake up as many people to what's happening in the world. And we'll figure things out together. And we'll work together. And we'll band together and create a beautiful family. I hope you guys will join me uh, when we go live every Tuesday. And uh, you know, come and share your comments and come and speak and speak to the family. Um, it's, it's always a great time. And so I truly appreciate you guys. Much love, my friends. God bless and namaste.